Teen Stevens TV Talk. Today we're going to be talking about Love and Hip Hop Season 6, Episode 4. Woo-hoo! <laughs> so, let's just dive in so we can just catch you guys up on all the ratchetness. That's what's up. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so, the episode starts with Jessica Dime and Tommy on their double date. Jessica Dime has brought a female, actually, but Tommy brought young Jock. So the reason why she did that is to get back at Carly Red for Carly Red messing with Scrap before he went to jail. So they on their little double date and everything, and they in the kitchen cooking and flirting back and forth with each other. Nothing really exciting happens during this time. So in the next scene, they introduce a new girl named Sierra. Sierra runs something she calls a glam shop, whatever the hell that is. I don't know. But um, it's her and another one of her employees named Mariah. Her and Mariah are discussing problems that she's been having with yet another employee that we will get to later. And basically, this other employee is causing problems in the workplace and she's not conducive to a, a quiet work environment, apparently. Right. Because the shop is really, like, low-key. Everybody's kind of, like, you know, it's not a typical beauty shop. Right. They're there to relax and stuff, too. So, in the next scene, we see Carly Red going to the Cricket Face Girl Jasmine house. And if you guys don't remember who Jasmine is, she's Kirk's alleged baby mama. Right. So, Carly Red is going over there to do some further investigation because, you know, she just thrived for the mess. So, she is going to uh, get a good look at Cannon, that's the baby's name, and uh, see if he looks like Kirk or whatever. While she's there, she takes some selfies with the baby, get that good photographic evidence, and um, she also finds out that Jasmine is not the only girl that Kirk slept with. There's another girl named Kiana, and, like, who is, who is Kiana? So, Kiana is in a relationship with Jasmine and right. Kiana has disclosed to Carly that she too has had a relationship with Kurt. So yeah, it gets interesting. So Jasmine and Kiana have both slept with Kurt and now they are in a three-way relationship with this guy named Rod who is Mimi's ex-boyfriend. Right. I don't know how these people are all connected together like this. I don't know if this it's is for sure. TV. It's for sure. You think it's fake? It's for sure. I, don't, yeah. I mean, because, like, Ryan looks like a pimp right now with all these women. <laughs> but, so, in the next scene, we get, we have Queen Mama D with her crazy self. She meets up with the Bam so she can try to figure out what's going on between Bambi and Scrappy. Bambi tells her that things haven't been good between her and Scrap. Scrap is actually living in the hotel and Mama D is very upset by this news, and she really not trying to have things go down like that. So, y'all already know how Mama D has to stick her nose in Scrappy's business. Right. I mean, like, she has to give him some kind of slack. But she goes to find out, so, you know, what's going on with the Bam and her son. And Bambi basically lays it all out there. You know, she's, she's emotional, she's crying, she's saying that she wants things to work out, right. but it doesn't quite look like it's going to work out. So, we go on to the next scene. So, there's a new person that they want to bring into the squad. Right. And her name is Lovely Mimi. Let's not get it confused with Mimi number one. Right. But... Her name, her name is also <laughs> Mimi, but it's love. They call her Lovely Mimi, and guess what? She is Asian and ratchet. I didn't know you could be Asian and ratchet as hell, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Right. So Lovely Mimi works at uh, what's her name? The Glam Shop. The Glam Shop, and she's the she's the one that they have issues with because she's really. Rambunctious, she's loud, she's obnoxious, she's just really, really out there, and um, Sierra is not feeling her at all. Right. So she and Tommy meet up. Tommy brings her kids, who I, I didn't even know existed. Like Tommy never mentioned anything who about knew having. Tommy had right. kids. Right. She never said anything about having kids before. 
But they meet up, the kids are playing together, her and Tommy get to know each other, they swap jail stories, and they actually hit it off pretty good. Right. So they found something that they have in common. They both grew up in foster care, and they had a, they both have really rough lives, and they both, you know, Went spent jail. time in jail. <laughs> <laughs> so then after that, Scrappy had all of us fooled with his little acting thing, because it made it seem like he was trying to put the Mac down on this chick he talking to, but really it's just a scene for some fake movie, uh, something that we'll never see the light of day. Right, so he's trying to get into acting, and he was, you know, basically doing a scene, and we thought that it was the real deal. We were like, oh my God, so that's why him and Bam is not right. getting along. We thought there was another girl. Yes, we were fooled, but he ends up telling that girl, you know, that he's upset about how things are with him and Bambi. Things aren't going well. Basically the same thing that Mama D, uh, I mean, that Mama D learned from Bambi, but just in a much more country way, because he'd be like, you know, shawty, feel me. I, things ain't going good, you feel me, doc? No, I, I, she's I don't even, not she's, she's, right. <laughs> I don't even know if we finna get married, shawty. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> so, oh, scrappy. That's pretty much what happens there. So in the next scene, Tommy, Mimi, Jessica Dime, and the side chicks all go out and they meet up at a strip club. And while they're there, it's kind of funny to me because Dime and Tommy are talking down to the side chicks for dealing with a married man. But who are the side chicks? The side chicks are Jasmine and uh, what's the other girl's name? Uh, Kiana. Kiana, right. So, you know, they're giving them crap for dealing with a married dude, but I find it hard to believe that Tommy or Jessica Dime never dealt with a married man before because, I mean, for the right price, I just don't think it's not too much they wouldn't do. Right. <laughs> so... You know, birds of a feather flock together. Right. So, anyways, um, on the next scene, Carly and Jock have some fake-ass photo shoot where Jock is posing for uh, Carly's book. I guess she's writing a tell-all book. Now, right. this part is super funny because Carly asked Jock to pose naked for her photo right. shoot. And then she dogs his body out. Right. She said, even though his body looked like shit. Like, she said shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I was, I would be mad as hell. You asked me to pose naked in your book, then you're going to pose. Give me all them pictures, baby. So during that uh, fake-ass photo shoot, at the end of it, Jock actually admits that he also slept with Cricket Face Jasmine. Like, Jasmine has been around. Yes, indeed. So, it's a possibility that this alleged baby, I'm sorry, not alleged baby, that this baby could be either Kurt or Jock. Jock said he's strapped up, though, you know, like. You never know. We'll you see. never know. But it's funny because, like, when they first showed them together, neither one of them gave any sign that they knew each other right. already. Right. They you know, it off really, really well. Right. Maybe because she was drunk. He said he wasn't sure if he recognized her at first. But, I mean, I don't know if I believe that. So. I don't know. <laughs> so, the next scene, Mama D calls up Scrappy and tells him that she wants to see him. So, when he comes and meets her at, I believe it was a community center. Yeah, the right. community center. She's, like, talking to him and telling him she has a surprise for him. So, he goes through the door, and lo and behold, it's his dad, his stepmom, which they're marriage counselors, and the band. The band. The band. <laughs> So they're basically, I don't know if this was an intervention or a counseling session or what it was. It's like a little bit of both. A little bit of both, in, right. Intervention counseling session because they're asking them what's going on in their relationship and everything. And they actually end up getting into a pretty intense argument right there. And, you know, Scrappy's daddy is like, is this how y'all communicate on a regular basis? And basically, Scrappy's like, we don't have no communication. You know what I'm saying? So... It's, a curse. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a mess. And I think at the end it's almost like they decided that not Well, to Bambi it. gets upset and she gets up and storms out. She's like, had enough, I'm tired of talking about this. She exit stage left. Right. So and at this point it doesn't look like they're gonna end up walking down the aisle after all. Right. 
So, toward, at the end of the show, Mimi, I'm sorry, lovely Mimi, Mariah and Sierra, they go out together. Now, keep in mind, these are the three that work together. They all go out for a night out on the town, some drinking, hanging out. And basically, Sierra loses it. She tells Mimi that she doesn't like her. She needs to calm down when she's at work. She needs to leave all that ratchetness outside of work. And basically, Mimi just ups and quit. Now, keep in mind, Mimi and Mariah, they are pretty cool. They, they like each other. Right. They work together. They're co-workers. And so, Mariah doesn't want Mimi to quit. But, basically, Sierra forces Mariah, I'm sorry, Sierra forces Mimi's hand and wants her to quit. Right. And Mimi goes off, like, she's talking about you gotta stick up your butt and all this kind of stuff. And, yeah, so, like, it didn't take long after they got there for it to go left very quickly. But that's pretty much how the show ends on that note. And so we'll we'll see how much time uh, lovely Mimi is going to get on the show after this. Who knows? Like, since they introduce her now, she may have, like, a reoccurring role or whatever. Because I would love to see more of her ratchetness. Like, she was very entertaining. Right. But, um, so, yeah, this episode, it was... I mean, not not a whole bunch of stuff came out or anything like that. We still don't know if it's Kirk's baby or not. Waiting on that is kind of surprised that Jock slept with the girl too. He said he used protection. Will it be his baby? Won't it be Kirk's? Who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, guys, that about sums it up.